Hello everyone and a very good afternoon a bit to Dr. Dewi Fariha Binti Abdullah and also welcome all of you who are joining me today for my session on this topic, a framework of practice, practice on written journals among the pre-service teachers. My name is EB2 and I'm from the Institute of Teacher Education to Hussein on campus. Okay, so my presentation today is about the pre-service teachers. As we know, these pre-service teachers are the teacher trainees who are just undergoing training in the college or university who have not become real teachers in the school. So uh, what I'm proposing today is a framework of practice practice which will help these pre-service teachers to become more effective in their teaching later in life. So what is reflective practice? Okay, I would like to share with you the definition of it first. When we enter university or college, we get to learn uh, a lot of theories on methodology or pedagogy, okay? But when we become teacher, we need to practice it in the classroom. So reflective practice is like a bridge, okay, as you can see here. It can link the theory that we have learned to the practice in the classroom. And the meaning of reflective practice is it is a deliberate way of thinking on one's action so as to engage in a process of continuous learning and teaching. As we know, teacher education provides the pre-service teachers university-based courses so that they can gain the knowledge on learning theories, methodology, and pedagogy. And it also provides them the school-based student teaching practice so that they can undergo practicum and internship, which can help them to become teacher later in their life. So they, to bridge their theory with practice, they need repeat practice, as I said earlier. What they can, we need is a tool and this tool for reflective practice is through journal writing. However, we find that these pre-service teachers, they seem unable to distinguish between narrative and reflective writing. When they write, they just narrate the events in the classroom. They only write uh, about what, where, and who, which is actually very surface meaning, okay, very surface uh, or descriptive in their writing. They do not write in a reflective way in that they think about the, uh, they analyze the consequences of the actions in the classroom. So this makes them, when they re reflect, they reflected more often at a superficial state, but they rarely reflect at a critical state. And here, the framework I would like to propose today is a framework adapted from these four theories by Jeep in 1988 and Broom 2001 and Bill Cham and two. As you can see in this, uh, the common levels uh, among these four theories, they are analysis, okay? You can see here, analysis, analyzing, analyze, analysis. So analysis is actually the level that helps these pre-service teachers to become more critical Okay, in their reflective practice. And one interesting uh, thing that I would like to highlight here is the level on feelings. And later I'll show you from my findings how these feelings can help these pre-service teachers to reflect at a more critical level. And this is the whole framework. Okay, as you can see on top, these are the factors that can help this pre-service to reflect, okay, from personal knowledge, knowledge of theory and research, and the context. And then here I would like to highlight also social support that is given by the lecturers and peers. This social support can actually help the pre-service teachers to be, uh, in their reflective practice. And here you can see the process of this reflective practice. Uh, in the six levels from describing, feeling, until developing. So actually, this uh, process of uh, reflective practice is in a cyclical way so that 
the teachers can continue in their reflective practice. Okay, and here my uh, research methodology, uh, I adopt a case study with purposes sampling in one of the teacher education institute in Malaysia. There were 20 pre-service teachers involved in this study uh, where there were 13 females and 7 males and they, uh, it was during the time they took this course stories for young learners from me. I taught them this course. So I, they learned the course about what is uh, children's story and so they learned uh, the criteria in the selection of children's story and later they conduct a micro teaching on how to teach these stories to the young learners and the instruments from this study uh, there were three here the two journal entries okay the observation and interview the channel and journal entry will be the main instruments that i would like to show the result with you all okay so here the result and findings for the first research question what are the common levels of effective practice engaged by the pre-service teachers? So here I use content analysis to analyze the two journal entries. In that, I analyze it sentence by sentence. So here we can see that describing, okay, is the most common level used by the pre-service teacher because there was 36.04%. Uh, and then followed by analyzing 26%, uh, associating 21.15, feelings 12.12, assessing only 2.78, and the last is developing, which was only 1.92. So this uh, bar graph shows the overall results of the uh, level of uh, reflective practice engaged by the pre-service teachers and you can see here this scrapping was the most common levels and but developing was only uh, 1.92 which was very low okay how do the pre-service teachers reflect in their written journal okay here i would like to uh, show uh, an straight written by one of the participants named Pahan. he says that for my storytelling i was a little bit nervous so nervous here is his feelings and why he said he was nervous he said further since i was the last presenter and then he again said i am scared another feeling okay that my classmate may be tired and bored thus making it difficult for them to pay attention so he was describing his feelings but when he described his feeling he started to analyze why he has such feelings so we can see that developing a greater awareness of emotion could actually help them to uh, lead them to critical reflection. Okay, another interesting thing I would like to share is uh, on peer evaluation. Okay, uh, because uh, in when they present their uh, storytelling, okay, their peers actually evaluate them. Okay, and then give them suggestion. So here you can see the journal entry written by Nick. She says that based on my peer evaluation, I found that a lot of skills that I need to improve. For example, my voice projection were not loud and clear enough. So she was telling us that uh, she knows her weakness, which was voice projection. Why? Because it was not loud and clear enough. So it was a, this is a, an analysis level. And why, how does she know her witness is through the peer evaluation. So peer feedback could actually support critical thinking and actually it can enhance the practice among these pre-service teachers. So the conclusion from this study is the pre-service teachers need to project their feelings and they need peer support so that they could have critical reflection and then they can bridge theory with practice okay the implications here are uh, what we can do for the uh, the pre-service teachers they need to reflect with feeling in their general writing and they can reflect with social support as for the teacher educators they can provide explicit instructions or formal training on reflective practice to the uh, pre-service teachers 
and also to introduce it as early as possible when this te uh, uh, pre-service teacher enter college. As for the teacher education program, it can consider the proposed framework of reflective practice and include reflective practice as a core subject. As we know, Malaysia has not uh, been uh, has a subject on reflective practice, but in other countries, Western countries such as the New Zealand or uh, United States of America, they have this subject okay on reflective practice, and we know that it can really help these pre-service teachers to bridge theory and practice. So why not we include it as a subject? So the further research from this study is to we can may involve other participants such as the school mentors or we can conduct an ethnography study of this uh, pre-service teacher when after their graduation when they become teachers in school you can study them on how they use their repetitive practice that will be an interesting study too all right here are the references that i have used in my presentation today and if you have any question you would like to know more information you can contact me in, through my email that's all from me and thank you very much for listening to me